on a cinematic. And my buddy Patriots and I were having a two, three hour long debate, conversation, whatever you want to call it, about uh, what Modern Warfare 3 was going to be like and the things that, you know, I've seen Thunderstruck uh, and a bunch of people tweet about, you know, complaints about what they see is going to be in the game and, you know, Patriots feels the same way about some of it. And, you know, I agree. I agree with, with most of it, but... The whole discussion we was having, and he actually did a video already about this called uh, Majority versus Minority. I'm actually going to put that in the link in the description, you know, so you can hear kind of his side of what we were talking about. But pretty much it was stuff like unbalanced games, uh, overpowered perks, you know, like second chance, ghost, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, he was kind of really, he was mad that, you know, he loves Call of Duty, but it seems like... He never gets the game the way he wants it because there's always this crazy stuff in there that just seems ridiculous to most of us gamers. Like, most of us that, you know, seriously play the game, trying to get good gameplays for videos. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. A lot of you guys actually play the game to be as good as you possibly can and get tired of a lot of bullshit too. But my whole argument with him was, we're not the majority. YouTube commentators... Uh, the gamers that come on YouTube and look for videos to get better or look for COD videos for entertainment normally, we're not the majority. We are the minority in the gaming world because what happens is, you know, a lot of people are casual gamers. They go buy games. They don't even talk to people in the game. They don't give a shit about none of that. They buy the game so when they get home from work, they can throw it in play a couple games and relax. Yes, I said it. Most of them are relaxing, not getting all fucking bent out of shape like we do when we're getting fucked. They don't care. They just get on the game and they play it, and they don't give a fuck about those perks. I mean, if they use them, they probably like them. You know, second chance, hey. Easier, it's, that's another kill. If you go on a second chance, uh, you can actually kill that guy. I've seen people kill three or four people while they're in second chance. Also, you know, second chance pro, you can be revived. Uh, ghost, ghost, you don't show up on the mini map. If I, if you, you know, I look at it like this. I, I, I don't really care either way. Ghost pisses me off. But you know, if I didn't make videos for YouTube and I didn't strive to not play cheaply, like I just, you know, didn't give a fuck. I just wanted to have fun and get as many kills as possible and not give a fuck what people thought. I'd probably try Ghost out because I mean it's an advantage. It's an advantage that you know. All of us get mad about, but it's almost kind of like, you know, if you're so fucking mad about it, then go use it. I mean, and I've told myself that before. But I still, you know, I've used it a couple times lately since Black Ops is almost done anyways. Just kind of, you know, to get the idea of what it's like to use the stuff that we hate, like, you know, noob tubes. I, I went on Modern Warfare 2 with noob tubing, but um, what I'm getting at is I used to go to the Black Ops forum and check it out. And you'd see the guys, you know, bitching about they're not being quickscoping. Okay, that's a good one. Quickscoping. So big in the YouTube community, right? Everybody wants to quickscope in the YouTube community. I can tell you this much. Probably 80% of the people in the Black Box forums that came there to voice their opinion, when someone said something about quickscoping, they'd say, fuck quickscoping. It's cheap. I don't like it. I don't think it's fair that you can, you know, scope in and shoot me with one bullet when I can't kill you with half a clip. Well... Honestly, guys, everyone knows I can't quickscope, but I've never hated on quickscoping because to me, it takes a lot of fucking skill to be able to scope in that quick, get on target, and shoot a motherfucker in the face. Especially when it's like three feet away. Come on now. If this guy can scope in and aim at you and shoot you in, in a split second from three feet away and you have a fully automatic weapon, that's your fucking fault. You should be able to pull your gun up and shoot them just as quick because as far as, I'm, far as I know, the guns pull up just as quick or quicker than the sniper rifle. But, you know, that's the way I feel about it. I mean, but like I said, as a whole, most of these guys that go to the forums and voice their opinion, they don't talk about Second Chance or Ghost or any of these things that we hate because it doesn't bother them. Most of them probably use it. Now, does that make them bad? Now, to me, it doesn't. It makes, you know, they're, they're using something that's in the game. But... <clears throat> I don't think that we will ever get the perfect Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo. We're never going to get the perfect game 
with no flaws, nothing that we don't like in it, because it's just not going to happen. Um, when, when these developers put stuff like Second Chance in it, they're thinking, hey, the average player that's not any good, why, here's what they think. While he's learning to play the game, we'll give him this perk Second Chance, and then that will help him uh, not die as much, so he'll keep playing the game. Because, you know, somebody comes on here and they go 0-35, you know, 15 times in a row, and they've never played a COD, they're probably going to put that motherfucker back on the shelf. They're not going to play it no more. They're going to say, I, I, I can't play that. But, you know, they put these little perks and stuff in there as advantages for bad players. Okay, well, you know, a lot of people say, well, the bad players should just keep playing and get good. That doesn't happen. The average casual gamer picks up a game, and if he can't play it within a couple hours, he takes it back. He quits playing it. So, and he doesn't buy the next title either, so... You see what I'm saying? They, they're trying to make these games user-friendly. And the problem is that all these easy tactics or whatever you want to call them, they get exploited. You know, if I if I know that I... Okay, say I, say I don't give a shit about posting a video. I don't care what anybody thinks about what I'm doing. And I know that I can get an extra 5, 10, 15, 20 kills a game using Ghost. I'd be a dumbass not to use it. The only problem is... I personally have tried it out lately, and it doesn't really do very much for me. Maybe it gives me an extra one or two kills, but... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the um, comments. If you have any questions or anything else concerning this that you want me to talk about, maybe I want to make another video, go a little bit more in-depth. But uh, also, make sure you go check out my boy Patriots. He's a good friend of mine. Make sure you go check his video out. Leave him a comment. It's going to be down in the bottom. Peace!